Mm. So last time uh, I have given like a brief introduction to reservoir computing why we need it. So this time I will be uh, introducing some of the elements how and like how how it's done. What's the what's the architecture of the standard reservoir computing? So this figure I have. I have shown shown in the previous meeting as well. Uh, so reservoir computing, the basic structure is like we give input and uh, there is this reservoir which has neurons like like a brain. It has neurons and uh, and they, those are attached to the uh, readout layer, which which from which we get the output. So what what's the general setup? So uh, the information is injected via a connectivity matrix, which is uh, W input. And if we assume there are uh, K input channels and uh, with N, N nodes, the neurons. So we, we have a input connectivity matrix uh, K into N. And there is this internal connectivity matrix of the reservoir, which is N cross N because we have N, N nodes in one layer. and uh, there is another matrix which is which is called W output and uh, which determines the connection weights between reservoir and the uh, readout layer. So this uh, uh, L cross N dimensional readout uh, creates L, com L computational with uh, a single reservoir. So uh, so we we have just one reservoir and we can compute where number uh, L number of computation in a single go. So <clears throat> so uh, introduction of this matrices is fine, but what really uh, stand out was when uh, Jager and Hans uh, introduced the random distribution of this uh, W input and uh, W internal matrix, which, which are constant over time. And the thing is that these matrix don't participate in the training procedure. So this is one of the major card. It is called one of the major advantage because these matrix don't take part in the training itself. So the only training is done to the modification of W output. Uh, so these metrics are random, random, randomly selected, and and W output we change W output matrix to get the output. So uh, these RC belongs to a uh, recurrent neural network, which is very difficult to train. So so this reservoir computing have an advantage on RRN that uh, these are fixed. So basically similar point to this. So. But this uh, equation is just the uh, state of a reservoir, how the state of a reservoir is determined. As we can see, like uh, from the previous figure, the earlier that I have shown, uh, it was a function of this W input and X and plus B. There is the, this external term, which depends upon the previous step and internal connectivity matrix is connected to that. So this is the state of uh, reservoir is given by this equation. So, any diamond, dynamical system which has high dimensional space is a good candidate. So, which which will be obvious. It's it's obvious, and uh, various uh, uh, nonlinear and high dimensional hardware system uh, that have been used in various of the papers. So, one of the physical realization of uh, this hardware reservoir is is in which sound vibration are transferred to a basin of water, and the ripple patterns were used for a spoken digit classification so for detail for going into detail we have to read uh, we have to go, go through this paper in which this technique was implemented so Rajima, let's Rajima, talk about Rajima, are you aware of this um, go back to the previous slide spoken digit classification yes. since i remember you worked on this during your master's m -tech. did you or something else no, no, uh, the vibrations I am still working on uh, in my like uh, current organization, like vibration analysis is our uh, uh, okay. what is that, uh, area of interest actually. So I am leading that uh, team actually. Okay. Uh, it is not the sound wave vibration, it's a mechanical vibration actually. And uh, uh, and uh, similar like the reservoir, maybe once he completed, uh, maybe like a four or five years ago also, I have done the similar part. Maybe I can explain that and uh, what could mm -hmm. be the next phase of that uh, publication kind of thing. Because uh, uh, sometime in industry, we do not uh, go for the uh, publications or the until we go for a patent. And uh, since uh, it's easily replicable, we don't go for a publication. So, but we have 
got some kind of state of art accuracy. Maybe I can just explain that actually, but we have not published that one. Similar in terms oh, of survey. okay, right. And um, make sure that there is no conflict of interest and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, ethical yeah. disclosure. Is, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, that is ethical yeah. disclosure yeah. that is important. All right. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, Vinay, please go forward. So I was talking about the input layer. Uh, there is this input, uh, W input matrix, which is a connection between K dimension input and, and uh, which respond to random connection be uh, between a dynamical system, multiple degrees of freedom. So, uh, which is which is already true because ANN relies on creating multiple nonlinear transformation for the same in input information. Uh, so that uh, uh, we can record, we can change W output, and then we can have our uh, favorable outcome of the W output. So, so the so we need to select this W input and internal matrix. So these are the two of the properties that need to be satisfied. So which are which are logically true if we see for multiple repetition of uh, identical inputs, the system should produce identical responses, and. Uh, Second one is the separation. The reservoir responses uh, sufficiently differ for multiple input, uh, differing by more uh, by more than noise. So our responses responses should be sufficiently differ. So basically, it it should avoid the noise created in the system. So the training procedure. So if we apply t consecutive input vectors uh, to the reservoir, n will respond to them, and each node therefore the no, the state of each node will therefore change and these nodes are collect, collected as uh, a state matrix which is n cross t matrix which is the s matrix so for multivariate l dimensional output the uh, readout is defined as l cross n weight matrix which is the uh, which is weighted by the w output now our goal is to choose the weight matrix in such a way that uh, this uh, y equals to w output s matches with the desired output so this the solution of this problem is calculated by using this Moore Penrose pseudo inverse state matrix, which is of this form, and hence we can find out this W output, which which goes to this equation, and uh, we we will get uh, y closer to our uh, desired output. So once the readout layer weights have been determined, the system can be can be used for. Uh, prediction to the newer newer but we fed newer uh, inputs which are unseen by once seen by the program so there is this concept of uh, linear se separability in higher dimension so uh, when we are doing this uh, reservoir computing we are basically projecting our data into the higher dimension and uh, hence it's a, it's separable so if we see in this figure uh, it's like a 2d figure and we have data so we cannot draw a plane to separate this data, but if we project into a higher space, which is three dimension here, uh, we can draw this hyperplane, which can separate this data. So that's that's the thing. So this I have also shown earlier. Also, these are the classification. Uh, this first one is a spatially distributed reservoir computing, and then there is delay based. So the major difference is that. Uh, uh, in spatially distributed reservoir computing, uh, the neurons are uh, like uh, gathered in space. They are in space, while in delay based, there is a single neuron which uh, which which is provided delayed feedback. We will uh, I will come to that. So spatially distributed is very similar to RNN, and uh, it's basically a complex network of spatially distributed uh, nonlinear nodes. Uh, it allows various connection topologies. So one of the example of this spatially distributed is on chip silicon photonics reservoir com uh, computer. Uh, so this is motivated by large scale industry and uh, once realized this photonic circuitry can be produced with natural production technology. And uh, the first of the realization in hardware uh, come when a linear photonic network uh, uh, which consists of optical waveguides and optical splitters and optical combiners were implemented uh, using a sing silicon on uh, insulator system, which is just a figure. So here in this figure, the 
network nodes are indicated in this color dots and uh, blue dots indicate that topology of the network we can have different topologies uh, for this petri distributed as well computing so next uh, other category is the delay based which is uh, our which will be topic of interest uh, it uses a single nonlinear node uh, uh, with delayed feedback which minimizes the expected hard hardware complexity and uh, the spatially distributed reservoir computer have like many network degree of, degree of freedom which is the n dimensional uh, n cross n matrix of the reservoir that we had and uh, while these are fixed intri intrinsically they take the form of delay dynamical system with a single nonlinear state variable so one neuron will be going uh, into circle uh, will be shown in figure in the net. so here one neuron will be going into a circle and a, a delayed feedback will be given to it so these are described by delayed differential equation yeah so so it, uh, what is happening here is that there is an exchange of between space and time uh, for spatially distributed we we were operating in space and uh, for delay based uh, we are going into time and therefore so to get to this point, uh, we had to a price had to be paid, which is that uh, compared to n node standard spatially distributed reservoir, the dynamical system now has to be run an n time higher speed than the spatially distributed. So in this figure, uh, the input signal undergoes a, a sample and hold operation every uh, tau. So it is defined by this tau and uh, it is multiplied by a masking signal MT, and uh, this mask mask repeats every tau, and uh, within one period, it it is a piecewise constant function uh, with a fixed sequence of uh, n values, and uh, the theta space point in the delay line are called the virtual nodes. So here in time, the virtual nodes are created, and uh, the mass together with the uh, inertia of nonlinear node controls the connectivity between virtual node and the uh, virtual interconnection. So it's similar to our spatially distributed, uh, but the masking is happening and that's that's controlling the connectivity between the nodes, uh, the uh, virtual nodes and the inter uh, WINT matrix will be connect, uh, will be controlled by the mask. So mask is introduced to diversify the response of the virtual nodes to the input uh, signal. And uh, there is this scaling factor gamma is there and the feedback strength is by uh, eta. So this is the structure of the delay, uh, delay based reservoir computing. 